Thank you, Sally, for licking your butt in the middle of my intro. Hello, everyone. So today I actually have a little box that I haven't opened on my channel in a while, and that is the Art Sub Art Art the Art Snacks Art Supply subscription box. And Art Snacks are actually sponsoring this video, so thank you. They're also offering a discount code for you to use, so you can use the code Katvalk, and you will get 10% off on your first subscription. So that is pretty awesome. So let's take a look at what's inside, and then I'll try to make some art with it. So stay tuned for that. So since I don't have the exact numbers in my head at this moment, I will put up the price for this box on the screen for you who are interested. So every month they provide you with 4 to 5 full size premium art products and I am actually loving the packaging, it looks so neat. So first we have the sticker and these ones actually looks different every month. It is the same shape and all but different colors and different patterns so that is pretty cool if you want to collect them or something. And I am apparently not the only one that think art supplies are delicious. So here's the list of the supplies or the menu as they like to call it. I get really hungry from this box and all this food related stuff. They have also listed the retail prices of the product, so we can see here that this little tube of paint is $15, which is almost half the price of this box. So the first art supply we have is this Princeton round paintbrush size 0, so it is super super tiny or fine. I might have to use one of my own paintbrushes too, or else it will take me a week to make a whole painting. But this will be perfect for more detailed work, so I'm still gonna use this, of course. And next is this Farber Castell, and let's see if I can say this right. Albrecht Durer Magnus watercolor pencil, and I know I said that beautifully. This is a really thick pencil that apparently should be gentle for your wrist to hold. And I really like the color, it is to me a very autumny shade. Then we have the pricey paint tube, M. Graham and Company Artist Watercolor, and I do know that this is a pretty great brand, so I'm excited to try it out. And they apparently use honey to keep the moisture, so that's pretty cool. Then lastly we have the Zebra Sensation brush pens, and I'm always excited for new brush pens, and these ones are totally new to me. They come in three different sizes, and all have black ink by the way, but the one with a blue cartridge is extra fine, the grey one is just fine, and the black one has a medium tip. They should be waterproof, which is great if I'm gonna use them with watercolors, we don't want the ink to smudge or smear. So I do actually like the minimalism with this box, there isn't a ton of art supplies but yet there is still enough to create something and the supplies feel like they're of good quality. You could use the brush pens alone if you want to and that would be enough for me personally. Which makes me think, do I maybe own too many art supplies but yeah we'll get back to that thought in just a minute. First, let's take a moment to appreciate how beautiful these colors look together and how nicely the watercolor pencils dissolves on the paper. I was actually a bit skeptical about these colors together, but I think they worked perfectly and complemented each other. So I decided to draw this lady here and I've been practicing more different face shapes lately to try to make my art a little more interesting with more character I guess. So my idea here is to use the brush pens for the face and then use the colors for her hair. And it is funny though, when I was done working on this I went and watched Drawing with Waffles art snacks video and she did a similar thing with her supplies. Great minds think alike I guess. It is interesting though that she got completely different colors, green and blue I think, while I got the magenta and red. 
and I am actually really loving these brush pens. I use the finest one for the most part of this drawing. I'm using watercolor paper that has a little bit of grain to it, so the lines turns out a little wobbly in some places, but since brush pens usually have this variation in the line thickness automatically, it isn't that visible anyway. The pens are great, I think. I will get a lot of use for them for this Inktober challenge, and I know some of you are really sick of it, but are there any of you guys that will participate this Inktober, and if so, are you following any prompts or are you just doing it your own way? I will actually use a couple of prompt lists, but just as inspiration in case I need some extra ideas some days. Also, don't feel bad if you are not participating all the days or not at all. It is sometimes really hard to get the time to draw every day, and drawing should be fun and not stressful. Anyways, let's talk about that thing that I mentioned earlier that just hit me while I was making this art piece. And this is not just me trying to find a topic to talk about, this was my actual thoughts when I was working on this. I was thinking how easygoing and fun it is to make art with limited or less art supplies, and this is really a first world problem. I am totally aware of it and you can make fun of me, it's okay. But having too many art supplies sometimes makes me create less art. Yeah, I know, it sounds stupid. I've noticed that when I have too many art supplies to choose from, I don't really know where to start or what to choose, which results in me losing my inspiration and I feel frustrated and I end up just watching YouTube instead. But then when I have a more limited amount of art supplies to work with, like when I'm traveling and I only have access to what's inside my pencil case, or when working with supplies from art supply boxes like this one, I feel less pressure and more inventive. It is fun to find out about different ways to use the different supplies for different results, like for last Inktober for example, speaking of Inktober. I only used a handful of supplies for 31 days straight, and it felt great not having to worry about what supplies to pick for a certain drawing, and I could focus on the drawing itself. I'm not even sure where I'm going with this, I just make myself sound like a spoiled brat, so yay me. I guess I just wanted to share this with you because it was like a revelation kind of. I've been so hard on myself lately for not producing more art outside of my daytime job and YouTube. I have very little spare time to be honest, but I need to draw more because I want to develop as an artist. And now I feel like I've come to the conclusion, or the solution rather, that if I give myself less to work with, I might have an easier time creating and producing more art. And it is also an encouragement to all of you younger artists out there that don't have that many art supplies yet. Don't feel sad, less is sometimes more. And I'm not saying I will just throw out or not use the majority of my art supplies anymore, I still love to collect and try out new things, but I might just give away a bunch of it that I don't use that much anymore to someone that needs them better. So I had a lot of fun with these supplies, the M Graham watercolors are so smooth and pigmented and I love the way it mixed with a watercolor pencil. I left her hair without any outlines and I really like the lineless look. This is actually one of my favorite art pieces that I've done in a while, even if it is a very simple piece. So I hope you liked this video and this art, and if you would like to get a delicious art snacks box yourself, check out the link in the description box below, and don't forget to use the code to get 10% off on your order. Thanks Art Snacks for sponsoring this video, and thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here, and click on the little bell to get notified every time I post new art and videos, and I will see you next time. Keep drawing my happy cats, bye! So yeah, let's...